Full-time score here, Ellsbury FC nil, FC Russian and Diamonds four, and I'm joined by man of the match and scorer of two of those goals, Liam Dolman. Liam, good win for Diamonds this evening. Yeah, uh, perfect performance I thought on a very tricky pitch against a, a very tricky side. I mean, the professionalism show first half was tremendous from every single one of the lads. I mean, we started bright. I think they only had one little a chance in the first half which they probably should have scored from but other than that it was a pretty much perfect um, performance in the first half and we knew second half it was going to be tough because with the wind and they were going to come and have a go they're not just going to uh, roll over at home and so we, we ground it out we, we dug in defended well defended from the front very well and seen it out and then got another goal at the end which was very pleasing and we carried on where we left off from Saturday and Tom Lorraine putting us ahead early on and then by the 17th minute we were two up and it looked like easy street from then on. Yeah, I mean, Ben Diamond's run onto his own flick I think, hasn't he? And great cross, great header and then I can't really remember the the um, second goal to be honest. Can't. The one which Ben Farrell, yeah. Yeah, good, another good little finish and then um, obviously we've spoke about set pieces that they needed to be better and we needed to score more and thankfully today I've come up with the goods and then second half, like I said, we rode it out, rode a bit of a storm and then um, still had them to attack on the break and I thought we did that very well and then, like I said, we got the penalty and thankfully it went in this time. Yeah, and a couple of the squad players getting a few moments at the end there. Um, John Dean's come in today and Chief as well, continuing getting another chance to get a few minutes at the end. It's important to have good lads around who can come in for Diamonds, isn't it? Most definitely. We've said it before, we're, we're a very tight-knit unit at this football club from 
players to supporters to the board and everyone we're all heading in the same direction and there's still a lot of work to do this season but long may this run that we're on continue and um, hopefully we can keep producing the goods another game for yourself to the right of the centre halves um, do you mind where you play do you how are you finding the change now Jack's come into the middle it's an old cliche but play where you put I'm just happy to be playing football I mean um, Peaks is a gaffer, he makes the decisions, that's what he's paid to do, so I'll just play where I'm put. I don't mind it, and I don't mind playing in the centre, but I'm just happy to be playing and happy for us to keep winning. All right, Liam, well, it's freezing here, so I'm going to let you go. A captain's performance from you tonight, leading with two great goals, and uh, uh, we'll uh, look forward to seeing you again on Saturday. Cheers, Mr Chairman. Thank you. Thanks, Mike. And I'm joined now by Andy Peaks. Uh, Andy, your thoughts on that great win tonight at Aylesbury? Yeah, delighted. I thought we started really well. Um, yeah, pl played the conditions exactly as I wanted us to. You know, we didn't just go long all the time. We mixed it up um, and scored some goals. Yeah, and made it a sort of comfortable second half, really. And I said to Liam just now in the interview, it's been a captain's performance from him leading by example, but it was a really great team performance as well this evening. Yeah, I mean, we're getting used to it, which is really nice, but I thought everyone put a massive shift in tonight. Um, say, obviously, the conditions of the rules can be really tough. Um, it's a Tuesday night, travelling a little way. It was important we started well and was in it, and they showed from the first minute, even from the warm, you could see they were right in the game. And I thought we played really well, again, across the board, all of them. And uh, I noticed that some teams have changed their formations this season to match us, but Aylesbury going with a 4-2-3-1 tonight, and that opened up a bit of space for us, which we managed to exploit early on. Yeah, they've played that the last couple of games. We've had a couple of people watch them, got some reports on them, so I didn't think they'd particularly change. Um, I felt it was important we defended well, as we always try and do, and then catch them on the break, and I thought there would be spaces down the sides, and that's exactly what it proved. And uh, another clean sheet again tonight. Um, it, those those are just as important as the, goal, as the goals, aren't they? Yeah, it's important to me. It's important to the boys because even second half, obviously it was harder to defend this end. Um, we got penned a little bit, um, but people still put the bodies on the line and they didn't really create a great deal. But, you know, it means a lot to everyone. We said at half time, if we get another goal, great, but let's not concede. Um, and it's another clean sheet, which is, which is fantastic. And so we look ahead now to Saturday when we entertain Uxbridge. Early thoughts on that one? Yeah, it'll be another tough game. Again, we've got reports on them. Um, we take each game as it comes. You know, we'll be doing our homework and we'll be going out and putting another, hopefully another strong performance and keep us on, you know, mass really great run that we're on. And so a uh, change to uh, the lineup tonight with John Dean coming in on the bench. Can you tell us a little bit about that one? Yeah, obviously John signed during the season to play in a couple of games. Um, I didn't feel it was worth his while to come all the time because Desborough are going well in the league and the Vars. Um, but I've looked at it in the last little while with certain people leaving that. I thought it was an opportunity for us to have another look at him and him to have a look at us. Um, and I think he had something a little bit different, so hopefully we're with us to the end of the season. And in more squad news this week, uh, Daryl Smith signing a dual registration with Newport Pagnell. Yeah, he decided he wanted to get some minutes. It's been a bit stop-start for Smithy because he's had issues, you know, family issues and personal issues. He hasn't been available as much as he wanted to be and I need him to be. But he's obviously got a lot of ability, um, but because he couldn't train and couldn't make a couple of games, he lacked a little bit of fitness. And, you know, he's another one who's felt it's time to go because he's struggling to get in the team, which is flying. And, you know, we respect that and wish him well. And those guys aside, it was a, a strong bench today as, as well, and you were able to give uh, three substitutes a decent amount of time. Yeah, I mean, we've been, you know, the last two games, it's worked like that. I thought I tried to make some decisions and protect some players who were probably struggling a little bit, and the conditions, you know, I didn't want to risk Luke's hamstring or anything like that. So, and it gets some of the boys match fitness as well, where they come on and they get a little spell. It was nice to get John on the pitch, uh, Chief again, some more minutes, um, and it, it's working okay at the moment. So, when the games are. You know, we're that far ahead with a little bit of time left. It's nice to be able to mix it up. All right, thanks very much for your time, Andy, and we'll see you on Saturday. Cheers, mate. I don't need love.